Right, hello there. Aid your immune system in easy one, two, three steps. And just before we're going to get into that, we're gonna, I spoke on LBC Radio last night. And I'm just going to play it for you. Three, four, five, six, oh, six, oh, nine, seven, three. Stephen's in Banbury. Hi, Stephen. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. What do you think? I think we're tackling this the long way. Go More on. broadly than just coronavirus. We're relying on these technological vaccinations rather than relying on our own immune systems. The vaccinations exist to stimulate our immune systems, don't they? Well, why do we need them then? If Why do we need... They don't really stimulate them, though, do they? Well, they do. I mean, in some cases, you get a little bit of the virus and that then helps oh, you. Then causes the immune system to, to respond and fight it. Yeah, but which it would do anyway without the vaccination. But it might be overwhelmed, is the point. If someone Will contracted it? the virus, or a virus, or, or, or some, some, some kind of ailment that overwhelmed their immune system, the immune system would not be able to fight back. It is able to fight back against a very small dose, at which point immunity is built up. That's the, well, the basic science. You say science. it might, and that's the thing. You don't know. Each well, we, but we do know that, that, yeah, that they vaccine, don't vac know exactly how it's going to help no, the but we do system. know that vaccinations have, have saved countless lives and, and, and offer immunity to people from all manner of unpleasant and potentially fatal conditions. Yes, but the viruses still continue, and they change yes. slightly so yeah. that the vaccination is no longer relevant, and we just call it a different name. You know, we say we eradicated smallpox, but did the virus change and has now become MS? I meant polio. Did smallpox become MS? Well, no. it could have. It, no. All these viruses are no, actually very similar the way they attack the body. Multiple sclerosis and smallpox polio are very, very, very different. It, they're all actually, these viruses, they get into the body. If they're in long enough, mm. they can cause damage. And but that sm damage but is smallpox done. and polio existed at the same time, didn't they? Um, well, I think I think a lot of these things have been around, yeah. Right. I mean, obviously, smallpox has been around longer than polio. Is it is it your considered opinion, then, that if we found a vaccine for the coronavirus, for the novel coronavirus, for COVID-19, that wouldn't help to stop the spread of it? Well, it'd be too late now, wouldn't it? No. It wouldn't be too late. Well, it, it would... You wouldn't be able to imp you wouldn't be able to inject everybody in the whole world. And if you could, well, you can't. What's the, it's hypothetical. You can't. But this is what I think. But, but, but what you're saying is hypothetical. You, you, but, but you're being hypothetical by by suggesting that it would not have an effect. That the vaccine and indeed the principle of a vaccine is is pretty much worthless. But I think we need to keep our immune systems strong. Yes. So we need to use them, and then. If, if some people's immune systems are failing, they won't pass them on to the next generation. So we should just we should just write off those people who already have compromised immune systems and will be felled by this. Well, I we think shouldn't... the reason we have so many people with compromised immune systems is because we haven't been relying on them. We've been relying on the the medicines, and that's why there's panic because people are just relying on a technical uh, Im immune systems are Rather compromised simply by, by, by aging people get older and their immune systems become less able to cope than well yeah and they're going to die anyway aren't they so well, whether they, they die they are going to die anyway but it feels like you're writing them off years, it feels uh, like you're uh, writing them off in the service of making a point i'm not really sure what the point is i'm not writing them off the fact is they're going to die if their immune system is low i mean my mum's over 70 but mm. she's She's very fit. She's got a good immune system. But it will be a less effective immune system on balance than the immune system of, a, of well, an yeah, equivalent 30-year-old. In because she's 70. Time, it will be even worse. And eventually, yes. but we're all going to die eventually. Yeah, but, so. but you, you said that people's immune systems are being compromised because we're not using our immune systems properly. I'm pointing out that in the case of getting old, which happens to all of us, that is one of the reasons why people's immune systems end up working less effectively than they they do years previously. Stephen, thank you for He's that. Three four five six zero six zero nine seven three is my number. Uh, I'll speak to another Stephen in Suffolk in just a few moments, but I want to bring... So, um, yeah, that was my first time calling into a radio show. I, you know, I didn't, you know, I learned a couple of things from that. My first mistake was I didn't plan for what he might say to my, all I'd written down was my opening statement, we're doing this wrong, relying on techie vaccines. So I didn't um, 
anticipate what he might come back with. And obviously he had had about 10, 20 minutes or what it was researchers or whatever, you know, he came straight back with that, which did throw me at the beginning. And uh, I was still speaking and then, you know, realized I'd been cut off and started to get into a, a rant about, you know, the sort of things that compromise our immune systems that we don't necessarily need to be doing like organ transplants. Um, you know, we could look for how we could help our organs heal themselves and look at your body as an overall healing thing. It's a, what do they call it? Holistic. That's it. But anyway, so I'll be, I think I'll be calling them again. I hope if they talk to me again, but what I thought from that really is it would have been really handy if we'd just gone on to speak about what you can do to help your immune system. And there are some easy practical measures that you can take um, to help yourself get through a virus if you have a compromised immune system or even if you don't. So the moment you feel any sort of sore throat coming on and often with fluey type things you just get a feeling like you know I'm under attack you get this sort of feeling like oh you know I, I could get ill here now if you get to that stage um, one of the things that can really help if you've not already been doing it is histamines and histamines are found in foods which have been uh, lying around for a long time, meats, cheese, pickled stuff, in fact, alcohol or brandy, although I wouldn't uh, advocate alcohol because of the other effects it has. But if you haven't been eating these types of foods that are high in histamines, so low histamine foods will be the, the freshest stuff. So high histamine foods, if you haven't been having those in your diet when you're feeling this sore throat come on, it might be an idea not to take on too much, but to have some. So whether it's a shot of brandy or some cheese or some, some meat, some cold meat probably, just in case, you know, that the cooking sort of gets rid of them. Um, but not too much. Because the the next thing, which is more important probably the most important, number two, is to get your bowels moving because you won't be safe from that virus until it's passed throughout your whole system. And for a human body, the, the food passing along the intestines averagely takes about two and a half days. So if you are in any way, um, what's it called, constipated, and you're not um, passing your bowels regularly, that's pooing, <laughs> you're not pooing regularly, like daily or even twice a day, and substantial amount is coming out, or at least as much as you're eating, then, you know, you could get stuff blocked in there, you could, and the virus could stay in your body for even longer, and you're not going to flush it out. So you need to be flushing it out. So you can use natural laxatives of the best. You've got aloe vera, senna pods. You can probably buy a herbal bowel mix. And then one of the others is cascara sagrada. And then I think is is inner willow bark or something like that. And a, a combination of natural laxatives would be the best. But if you haven't got those, any types of laxatives, if you're in any way constipated, you need to be discharging your waste on a regular basis, particularly in this early stage of the virus. Now, the third thing is then to fast and feel. So if you are regular, your, your bowels are regular, and you have had plenty of histamines in your food, then really... All you need to do is to not start eating because that uses energy from the body to break everything down and to feel that sore throat, to allow it 
and to think positive like my body is gonna fight this virus it's gonna kill it off you can nip a virus in the bud much more easily like that than if you're not very sensitive to it and you just continue in and you just continue in things without much thought drinking whatever and eating whatever and and and, and over exercising potentially as well and not really taking any notice and then you wake up the next morning and the and the and the virus is now moved into other parts of the body and you would have more work to do so you can actually nip a virus in the bud if you're more sensitive to it and you felt like yeah there's something here tackle it straight away and like i said if you're your bowels aren't moving get some laxatives to make sure you can clear out and if you've been like having a really vegany diet without you know much sort of food that's been lying around for a long time you could definitely do with you know even if you are breaking your vegan rule by eating cheese or something like that something which has been around for a long time like a pork pie you know it's going to be very high in histamines and it just gives make sure that your immune system has some fuel to make all the t-cells and all that and the rest of it so easy as one two three histamines bowel movements and then number three fast and feel that'll do it for now thank you bye